Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my baking series. So in this video, I'm going to be baking with you a delicious chocolate cake with chocolate mousse filling. And I will also give you a tip for a simple yet easy decor. Something that you can take to your friend's birthday, maybe a holiday, Mother's Day. So yeah, I'm very happy to share it with you. Let's bake. For the chocolate cake, you will need the following ingredients. 1 cup and 3 quarters of flour 1⁄2 I always like to use a flour sifter to sift all my dry ingredients to avoid any lumps, but of course this is optional 2 cups of granulated sugar 1⁄2 a cup of powdered sugar One cup of unsweetened cocoa powder One teaspoon and a half of baking powder One teaspoon and a half of baking soda one teaspoon of salt and mix well all the dry ingredients. For the wet ingredients, we have one cup of milk, two eggs, half a cup of vegetable or canola oil, three teaspoons of vanilla extract, And finally, one cup of boiling water and mix everything at medium speed. Mix for two or three minutes and your butter should look thin like this one. If you see bubbles like this one, that's totally fine. A cake also needs air bubbles to give its delicious texture. Since I wanted to do a small cake, I grabbed three six inch pan and I grease them with butter. Besides the butter, I also like to add a round piece of parchment paper at the bottom because I think it's more effective than just greasing the pan. To pour the butter, I like to use a kitchen scale to evenly distribute it. Once you're done pouring the butter, Place them in the oven immediately at 350 Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. For the chocolate mousse, I'm reusing the same mixing bowl, so after washing it, I always like to wipe it off with a paper towel and a little bit of white vinegar, just in case there's any remaining oil from the previous ingredient. Since I'm preparing the whipping cream for the mousse in this mixing bowl, I'm going to place it in the freezer for 15 minutes for better results. To start the chocolate mousse, Mix three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder with half a cup of hot water. In a separate bowl, melt one cup and a half of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Then add the cocoa powder mixture to the melted chocolate. Mix well and let it cool down while you prepare the other part of the chocolate mousse. To start preparing the whipping cream for the chocolate mousse, take the mixing bowl out of the freezer, let it sweat for 5 minutes and then dry out any excess of water. Add 2 cups of cold heavy cream and remember the colder the cream the more successful it will whip. And finally, add 2 tablespoons of powdered sugar. Using a whisk attachment, mix well at a medium to high speed. Make sure to keep an eye on the mixer because this can be overmixed very easily. 
When you see a pig like this one, your whipped cream is ready. Then with a spatula, fold in the chocolate mix. And once you're done folding in the chocolate, you should have a mousse consistency just like this one. Once you take the cakes out of the oven, let them cool down for 10 minutes. As you see here, even though I covered the pans completely with butter, it didn't work in this time in two of the three pans, so that's why I prefer going with parchment paper, but this time I didn't have in my house. While I was cutting the cake, I decided to do a three layer cake and save the rest for another project. And I will also use the mousse to cover the entire cake. For my DIY cake display, I purchased this food at Michael's for $5. To decor the cake, I purchased this edible gold leaf from Amazon and I slowly start to apply sheet by sheet. The leaves are very delicate so it's better if you apply the sheet directly to the cake or with a brush. For the cake side and the type of decoration I did, I used around 35 gold leaves. And to complete my DIY cake display, I purchased this glass dome. If you want to use a display like this one, just make sure to put something in between the cake and the wood and also only keep it for a day in here because if not, the wood might absorb the cake's moisture. Alright guys, that's all I have for today's video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and also make sure to follow my Bay With Me playlist where I have more videos like this one or make sure to subscribe to my channel. I share lifestyle videos, motherhood tips and much more. See you guys next time.